Here's another Ask Diva video. You guys are really asking a lot of questions. I am appreciating all of the flooding questions. Everywhere I go, I'm seeing questions. And I just want to thank you because I wouldn't be able to do this if you didn't have the questions. And if I wasn't able to answer it, I would be doing absolutely nothing but crocheting. But here we go with the next question. And the next question was given to me by... Let's see. So the next question is how to know what to crochet. So you have a business or you just have some gifts that you want to give away. You don't know what you want to make. You just know it's for a baby. So the first thing that comes to your mind is maybe a baby character or maybe if it's a customer who is asking you for um a mini mouse and you're like okay i could do that i could do that mini mouse then you find out that you go and you look for your graph and you go online and you see all these graphs and you pick in whatever mini mouse that's cute for you and then you do it you do it you do the mini mouse it's cute but it may just be basic and the reason why I'm saying that is there are so many basic graphs out there. There is Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, um, whatever latest movie is out, whatever latest show is out, whatever latest cartoon or kids. That shark thing is like really out of control. Baby shark, like that is really out nowadays. So what we want to do is... Be a little bit more personal because when you're giving a gift, you want that gift to be for that somebody and for it to be really special. Some people are very simple. I'm just not a simple type of female. So the details attract me. The um, personalization attracts me. Everything that is just for me attracts me. Not everything that everybody else can have. So when I have a customer and a customer say... I want that. You made that a while ago. It was nice. It was a whole, and I really like it, and can you make it for me? This is how I run down how I talk to a customer. I talk to my customers like I know what I'm doing. I not only know what I'm doing, I know what you need, even if I don't. But I know what you need, I know what you're going to get, and I know you're going to love it. I always have that in my mind. It's always something that I've been doing for I don't know how long. And it works because nine times out of ten, they love what I come up with. I can say out of the hundreds of blankets I did or baby clothes or whatever... I can say maybe two didn't like, but it wasn't that they didn't like. It was more so of, I just want something a little plain because I'm only using this for this or I'm only using this for that. So the two people, I still made up my own little design and they wound up liking that, but it wasn't something that was, I don't want it, take it back. No, and I'm the diva. I'm the professional. It's going to be good. So I just want to... um touch bases with you to let you know that you can do it too you just have to be in control be in control because you're the creator you're the crocheter you're the one who have to help design whether you're doing the graph yourself or if you have to go ask somebody else to do the graph i do not suggest at all um i don't suggest sometimes let me just say sometimes going online and searching for that graph um because not everybody is unique. Mine is. I'm just. I'm not just saying that. But there are some graphics out there who are good. And you see images that are like, wow, I like that. And it pops. That's my favorite word if you don't know by now. It pops. So that's what we need. We need something that's going to catch your eye. Something that if you put it on 
yarn you put it in yarn and you crochet it up and and, and it start looking real pretty a lot of people are like wow like i didn't even know you could do that so that's what you need you need that wow factor and i'm about to let you know how i do it so what i do is for instance a customer calls me and say, Sean, I need a blanket. It's for a baby. And can you make it like that polo bear blanket that you did not too long ago? The first thing I say is, sure, I can do the blanket. When do you need it by? I ask, when do you need it by first? Because in my head, I'm trying to sum up when I can have this done. She wants the polo bear. So let me stick around that that design, the polo bear design. Or let me see if I can kind of gather up some more information while talking to her so I can find out what I need to do. So first we have the time. She tells me she needs it in January. Cool. I have like three months to get it together. Okay. So I can have it a little bit detailed. It, it could be a little detailed. So I, my next question to her is, um, what is the baby shower? Are you having a baby shower? What's the baby shower theme? If it's no theme, what's the colors? If it's no baby shower, is there a nursery? If there's a nursery, what's the theme of the nursery? What's the colors of the nursery? If there's no nursery, then the next thing I will do is, what's mommy like? What's daddy like? What do daddy want? What do mommy want? What is mommy's favorite character? Or what is daddy's favorite team? Or something like that. So that's when I start asking a whole bunch of those questions. And as they're telling me, I'm like thinking in my head, what can I do? What can I do? what can I do what can I put together now there is one that I did for uh Eastern Star Sister and she um basically she told me that there wasn't a baby shower there wasn't a nursery but mommy likes Mickey Mouse and daddy is a DJ so I put them together I made Mickey Mouse sleeping and the DJ I believe Mickey Mouse was not sleeping, but a DJ. I don't remember, but you'll see it. I loved that one because that was something that I was able to create for her. It wasn't one of my first, but it was one of many that the customer not only loved it, but her recipient loved it. Because the recipient said, I've never saw a picture like this before. Well, you're not gonna, going to because this is why we did it. We personalized it for you. So that's what I am trying to get in um, a lot of the crocheters' heads. That you're the creator. My Eastern Star sister is not the creator. She knows she just wants to buy something. She knows that she wants to give it to whoever she wants to give it to she knows she wants to give it to whoever she wants to give it to and she wants it to be nice she wants it to be a keepsake memorable the baby should be able to have it for a long time so this is why i put all of that in there and let her know that i got this i i got this i'm always going to be in control but because i'm asking her all these questions she feels like she's in control but let me tell you in reality because we are the crocheters we know what we can do we know what we can't do so if she was to say i wanted you to do um something like argyle i saw it on pinterest and it looks like argyle which is um plant pool plant pooling I can't get on. I can't get with that. I can't get with plan pooling. I don't. I tried it. I didn't even focus on it because I had so many other things to do. But plan pooling is not my thing. So I'm trying to get her away from telling me certain things that I just can't do. So the best thing to do is to just ask those questions. Yes, I can do it for you. Yes, I can make sure it be. Anything you want it to be. I could do a baby girl. You, It's a baby girl? Yes, I could do it. The baby not doing to January? Okay, what's the baby shower? If it's no baby shower, what's the nursery? If it's no nursery, what mommy like? What daddy like? What do you think the baby is going to want? These are the things that you need to always ask that customer. Because 
to be honest with you, she bought like at least five blankets from me. So it's to the point now where she goes, do what you do best. And that's what your customers are going to start doing. They're going to realize that they trust you. They're going to realize that all you have to say to them is trust the process. Trust the process. Do you trust me? They always say yes. They always trust me. They always trust the process. And I'm always delivering on point, no matter what. Now, let's say you are not too creative. I don't want to hear that. I don't think that's true. Because if you crochet, you're creative. If you can crochet and if you could put some yarn together with a little stick, you are creative. You could do it. All you have to do is think. It doesn't even have to be out of the box. All you have to do is clearly say, is it going to be a cartoon character? Is it going to be a teddy bear? Is it? You just have to think of these things. And if you really are just not sure, what you could do is you could start searching. You could start looking. You could ask the diva. You could start searching. You could start looking online what baby girl graph cans or baby boy graph cans or, you know, just... um use the baby shower invite so if it's a baby shower you could use the baby shower invite i do that all the time i get the invites they show me the invites and i basically take the design of the invite if it's a character i'll take the character boss baby i think i designed one of the boss baby grabs based on somebody's baby shower so these things are out there for us to just catch and grab this is the main reason why my demand is so high. I'm consistently crocheting. I'm consistently spitting out products. Every single time I get rid of one or two, I get three or four more. And that's no lie. That's like, I am unbelievably blessed to say that I am in high demand. It's to the point where now Christmas is coming in a couple of months and I have to hold back some um orders because i am in so high demand but i'm loving it i love what i do and i try to execute as much as possible so i hope these suggestions work if you have any other questions about this you can ask there's no problem leave a comment below and we can talk about it i can help you i can even design for you just make sure you have um an idea of kind of what you want theme and um i could definitely help you but i know you can do it i know you're creative if you're even looking at this video you definitely know how to crochet thinking of um the theme of what a customer want or having control in a conversation you could just hit me a comment below and i'll get it